Bello. Drum lesson 22. Fill vocabulary. We've looked at quavers. <laughs> Semi quavers. <laughs> but now we're going to look at some new sticking. So just to recap, previous lessons, we've covered loads of stuff, right? But the previous lessons were more intricate bass drum parts with a high eighth note ride cymbal. Or semi quaver ride cymbal. So before, your vocabulary would have been like this. So previous vocabulary. Basically, quaver bass drum notes underneath, or and then we looked at independent bass drum patterns. That's their previous lessons, so dig the lessons out. Anyway, so you're probably thinking. Why am I always doing this sort of film? Not that bad actually, but you've got limited vocabulary. So what we're going to bring in now is dynamics, with some accented notes, and some new sticking. So, there you go. This is the new sort of fill vocabulary. So at the top, here, this section, quavers. Semi quavers, and then we've got some new stick in here. So, you want to be able to loop the top exercise, the bottom exercise, uh, the middle exercise, and the bottom one. We're going to look at this top exercise first. Now, above the notes. You see some arrows. So the first line, we're going to stick it single handedly. That's the time. All on the snare. The note that's got an arrow is an accent, it's a louder note. Another way to look at it is to ghost or tap quietly the other notes that aren't accented. So if you watch the movement, same exercise but the second bar, still the same stick in, right, left, right, left, but the accent is on the and one, and two, and, which will be our left band. Okay, Exercise two bars. Next one down, second exercise for the middle section. I'm trying to focus more volume on the the note under the accent, but right, and then I'm ghosting the other one. So watch my movement. The right comes up. So I'm sort of still trying to get lift from here, like a string puppet. Second line, the accent is at the, the end of the groove here. First exercise. Second exercise. I loop the two. 
two, three, four, dot, two, dot, 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 Now, it's a quaver first, but I'm just going to tell you what it is because it's theory. So the third section, first bar. You need to sound like this. Second bar, which is which is the semi quaver first. If you look at your sheet, when you took a picture on, or you get the sheet, the semi quaver, the double line is at the beginning of the sequence. So it's like this. Three, four. Got it? First line. First line exercise three. Second line exercise three. I'll leave the two. First line. Practice those three exercises. On the sheet, you'll see I put a vertical line separating all the bars. That splits the bars in half. So once you can play each exercise, uh, uh, sound like Sean Connery. Once you can play each exercise smoothly without stopping, I won't do that. Um, once you play each exercise smoothly, you can start to mix. So I might do. If you look at the sheet. You took a picture of the beginning of the lesson. I'm going to look at exercise one, second bar. That's it, first half. And then I'll look at exercise three, first bar, the second half of it. All right. So for the first bit I did, let's call it 1B, then 3A. a new phrase. to mix and create your own. So we'll develop that a bit further in the next lesson because I've been babbling on for 10 minutes. But yeah, so practice them individually and then we'll start to split them up as some more interesting phases in the next lesson. All right? <laughs>